Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the page, Money Making Juggernaut, where I discuss multiple streams of income. Today, we're going to go over asset recovery when you deal with deceased people. This is a huge topic, guys. Majority of the time, people will be deceased, but you can still help them out. That's right. You can help out the people who are deceased by helping out their family members, the heirs, the beneficiaries, the kin, the family members that are still alive from the person who is deceased. Now, before we get into this, if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I'm trying to come out with content every single week for you guys, just give you little tips and tricks on how you can dominate in the asset recovery business. So like I said, guys, a lot of times when you're doing your research, somebody can be deceived. Now, this doesn't mean you can't help them. All it means is now you need to look at their heirs, their family members. So... You're going to go through the same process, guys. First things first, you want to do your skip tracing. So just like any leads, when you're performing a skip trace, you want to go to your websites. You want to put in the person's name who's owed money, whether you're doing unclaimed state funds, whether you're doing tax overages, mortgage overages, whoever you're researching, you want to put their name. You want to put the address. You, you, know, you want to put the city, the state and try to match them up and do your due diligence. So you're going to skip trace. And then you're going to confirm the date of death. So you might ask, well, how can you confirm the date of death? Most skip tracing websites will tell you when that person died. Also, what you want to do is Google that person's obituary. And for those of you who don't know what an obituary is, it's usually just a message when somebody passes away that will talk about their life and say who you know is remaining in their life, the family members that are still alive. So you can Google their obituary so that you can find who the heirs are, which are people still alive. Family members, guys. Family members, okay? After you know who the family members are, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna skip trace the family members. Now, you're gonna skip trace the heirs. You wanna gather their phone numbers, email, and social media, guys. Any platform that you can get a hold of these people, you want to reach out to them, let them know what you're doing, explain to them that their family member who is deceased had these funds that were remaining to them. And you can help them go after these funds because they're legally entitled to these funds. And a lot of you guys might say, well, is this true? Yes, it's true. Each state has their own different statutes. Look it up an heir and beneficiary of somebody who's deceased, you can help them go after these funds because they're entitled to these funds. That person died, this money is left over, the money isn't just gonna dissipate. Whatever heirs are entitled to those funds, but there's a process, guys. So after you skip trace, okay, you've located somebody, you have to reach out to them in a certain way, guys. So when you reach out, The way that you have to approach them on the call, you have to pretty much immediately explain to them, look, I understand that this can sound bizarre. You're receiving this phone call. Um, this person has been passed away for some time now, but nobody reached out to help him get that money back. He passed away. Nobody's reached out to you guys. This is what our company does. This is what we do day in, day out. We help people recover their money. This person, you know, whoever is deceased, had some unclaimed funds that were owed to them. You know, they had some overage amount, they had the surplus amount, they had the excess proceeds, and this money is entitled to somebody in your family. Um, and I just wanted to reach out to let you know that we'd love to help you out. We don't charge any upfront fees at all. Okay, we only get paid upon a successful claim. So even if we were unsuccessful for whatever reason, you don't owe us a dime, you don't owe us anything. Is it okay if I send you over these documents so that you can review and, you know, we can move forward? They'll be like, yes, you know, okay, well, it's a great email. 
you reach out to them, okay? You're going to have to send proof. A lot of you guys might say, okay, well, how do I send proof? Why would you send proof? Can't they go do it on their own? The truth is, guys, people are lazy. They don't know how to do it on their own. This is where you come in with the expertise and you can facilitate them on following this claim. So you can send proof through documents that you see from the state, state docs, county documents, any documents, guys. You can also send over state statutes. Remember, like I said, guys, each state has their own different laws regarding surplus funds, unclaimed money, things like that. So every state is going to be different. Every state is going to have its own statutes. You send that over. Boom. Now, once you have them to kind of understand what's going on and they're now comfortable with, you know, helping them on filing the claim, you got to ask some questions, guys. So the main questions that you need to ask is do you have a will, trust, probate, summary of administration, okay? So these documents are documents that can use to support your claim when you're going after these funds. Most of the time when you're filing a motion with the county or you're submitting something through the state, they're gonna need some sort of proof so that you know they can determine that these heirs are entitled to these funds from the person who is deceased, okay? So the summary of administration, guys, the probate, the trust, the will, all of these things are gonna cost money, all of them. If you get an attorney, minimum, they're gonna charge anywhere from $1,500 to $3,000 to get these done. That's just what attorneys call. You can find a way that you can draft up this paperwork for them, but what you wanna do is call the county and figure out if they will accept that. And there is a free way that you can get this done, guys. And it's called an affidavit of heirship. Affidavit of heirship. Now, an affidavit of heirship is a document that a friend of the family, it cannot be a family member, it has to be a friend of the family that is going to testify in writing that they knew the deceased individual and these are the family members that proceed him in death. It has to be notarized and it has to be signed by a friend of the family, not a family member, guys. So after you ask them all these questions, you figure out now how you're going to go after the claim. You need to contact the county or the state and you need to get their requirements. So right now, guys, we have a deal. The deceased individual has three heirs that are equally entitled to these funds. What you need to do is call the county, call the state. Hello, my name is, give your first name. I'm assisting someone on filing a claim for excess proceeds, surplus funds, unclaimed funds, whatever you're going after. I have a few questions. You can't be scared to talk to people, guys. You have to get this information. It is public information. It is free information. What are your requirements for going after these funds? The person entitled to these funds are deceased. I am working with the heirs. It's that simple, guys. I'm not sugarcoating anything. I'm keeping it plain and simple. Most of the time, these county officials are going to work with you. The employers, they're, they're just naturally going to talk to you. But you have to sound professional. You can't sound shaky. You can't be scared. That's exactly how I talk to them. The individual is deceased, I'm working with the heirs. What are your requirements regarding this? What type of paperwork is used to show proof that they're entitled to these funds? Well, they're gonna ask how large is the funds? If it's something typically under $5,000, you can do small claims, and most of the time they'll accept the affidavit of heirship. Some counties, they might tell you, look, we're gonna need a summary of administration, we're gonna need something you know, higher up, drafted up, in order for us to accept this claim, they're gonna say, please contact your lawyer or an, an attorney. 
something like that. So then if they say that, you also want to ask, okay, do you have this paperwork on file? Does the county, does your county have that document already? Does the library, that's a key one too, guys. Would the library have these documents as well? Because sometimes the libraries at these counties will have these legal documents already drafted up for you that you can use. If they accept that, fine, get it completed, get it notarized, now you're good. Now you can actually continue on with your claim. If not, use your attorney. Whatever attorney that you use when you're filing your claims, have them draft it up, guys. Work something out. If you're working with him on contingency, you can give him a larger portion of the deal, him or her. You can give them a larger portion of the deal. Maybe you might have to um, pay a little bit of money up front for this, but it has to make sense, guys. When I do claims, and I have to pay for, let's say, $2,000 in attorney fees just so that I can get the summary of administration done or the probate. I have to make sure that my return is over $15,000 because if I'm putting up that much money, I want to see a good return on that. All right, guys, so that's pretty much how you deal with the deceased. If you have any questions regarding that and you are a student, please reach out to me. If you are not a student, Please, guys, please do your research on this industry. There's multiple people who teach this. I'm not the only one. But if you do want to move forward with me, I have a great promo code to use. Use the code STIMULUS, S-T-I-M-U-L-U-S, for $100 off the course. This won't last forever. So if you watch this video months, years later, weeks later, it may not be available. But if you're watching it now and you've been wanting to get this course, Perfect opportunity for you guys, $100 off. Take advantage of that. Thank you for watching. I'm out.